here and welcome back to another unboxing video. A lot of you guys asked about this one. The reason I hadn't um, filmed and posted this unboxing is because Jackson has been out of town, but I knew he really wanted to unbox this with me. So I saved it until he got back. He just got back today from a camping trip. How was your camping trip? Good. Good. All right, in this video, we are gonna be unboxing the 2019 summer, the Nick Box! Nick, 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 I don't actually know what the theme of this box is. Maybe like vacation, It's because it looks like this is a suitcase. Um, probably like Rocco stuff maybe, because like Rocco's. Maybe. Um, it, it has on here Hillwood. I don't know what that is. It has the old school Nick like blobby thing. You have Arnold and Gerald. Greetings from Ocean Shores. Isn't that, that's rocket power. If there's a rocket power item here, I'm going to be so stoked. Um, there is a Rocco item probably and also a Rugrats item based on what's on the box. So if you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. This is a great box if you are an old school Nickelodeon fan. It is a bi-monthly box, so it's every other month, and it's made by Culture Fly. So all of these items are actually licensed by Nickelodeon, which is awesome. You ready? Yeah. All right. This box was wrapped in plastic, but once you unwrap the plastic and you open up the box, this, this is what you say. Yeah. <gasps> this is what you're going to see. Now, here's a spoiler card, I feel like. Yep, I only looked at it a teeny bit. This is what you're gonna see. How does it look? Does it look good? Okay, oh, 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 sorry, okay. So we do the shirt last. We will take turns showing items. So let's do it. You wanna go first? Oh, I don't think I realized that Hillwood was where Arnold was from. Did you know that? For some reason, I don't remember it being called Hillwood. Okay, what do we have? We have, hey Arnold. Gerald bobblehead. So we have a bobblehead of Gerald. Oh, it's focused on your face. Eh, eh, focus, focus camera, focus. There we go. Okay. So this is a, a Gerald bobblehead. It's the camera likes Jackson's face. No, it likes my face. Um, cool little bobblehead. Uh, very similar. Oh my gosh. Now I will say that this kind of looks more like stinky Peterson. If you really look closely at the face. Like, I feel like he's got some stinky Peterson vibes, but that's okay. That's okay, what can you do? Okay, what's next? Oh, it's my turn? Okay, I'll do, I'm gonna do this set of items. This is actually a set of postcards. So Hillwood apparently is where Arnold's from. I, like I said, I don't remember that being the name of his city. Are you not hot? I'm about to start sweating and you're wearing a scarf. We had to decide between this box what were the other options? Harry Potter the, and the Far From Home. The Wizarding World box and then Far From Home, the Marvel Collector Core box, and we picked this one. Um, but we have a set of, oh, these are, they're all the same? No, there's two of each. So we have Hillwood, which is <gasps> from um, Hey Arnold. Oh, we have Ocean Shorts, which is from Rocket Power, <gasps> my favorite Nicktoons. We've got Bikini Bottom, that's for SpongeBob. And then we have O-Town, which is Rocko. from Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Did you, did you watch that show? No. Oh. I think I heard they're coming out with a new movie on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? No? Okay, your turn. Hmm. There's probably stuff under, too. <gasps> wow! Look at that! Okay, I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. What's that? <laughs> oh, so we have a... Is this actual hand sanitizer? Is there anything in here? No. It's a hand wow. sanitizer container of, what was his friend's name? It was Rocco and... I don't know. I you forgot what his... I know. I actually watch this show a lot. Herbert. Herbert. I'm going to look it up because I don't know. Herbert? Is it Herbert? I don't I never watched the show. Jeez. It's new. Rocco's Modern Life. Let's see. Filbert, not Herbert. Sorry. So there's, this is, I think, supposed to be like a hand sanitizer container, but there's no hand sanitizer in it, so it's empty. That kind of sucks. I know. All right, I'm going to do this next time because I'm excited about it. This is like a toiletry fanny bag, pack. and this is an, uh, it's not a fanny pack. It's actually a toiletry bag, but it's a bunch of different Nicktoons. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the color, but on it, you've got a bunch of classic Nicktoons. So you've got, uh, what do I see? I Monsters. see Filbert. You have Cat Dog, Reptar. There's um, Angelica, Ren and Stimpy. Who else do you see? Um, all the peeps from Ah Real Monsters. You have Heifer. You have, um, what's his name? From Wild Thornberries. 
The the little Miffler. Otto. No, not Otto. I don't remember what his name is. Um, Miffler. Rocco. Rocco. Then you have Rocco and you have Gerald. So just a bunch of different Nicktoons on here. And it's cool. It's a cool little toiletry bag. There's actually three zippers on this, which is neat. And there's mesh pockets inside. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the mesh pockets. That's cool. Okay. That might become my new toiletry bag. The angry beavers. Angry beavers. I've, do, 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 I've do, only do, watched do, Cat Dog. Do, do, do. You haven't seen Angry Beavers? I actually think no, you'd I've like the show. I've only seen the Hey Arnold Jungle movie. Oh, I love Hey Arnold. I haven't seen the Jungle movie, though. Uh, um, this is a set of, of Angry Beavers uh, pins. So you have Norbert and Daggett. There you go. And they're double backing pins. Pretty good on vacation, it looks like. The next item we have, I'm assuming this is a picture frame. It's a Rocco's Modern Life picture frame. So this is actually really cool. It's kind of made out of like, I don't know if it's a magnet. Is it a magnet? Let's take a look. Because if it's not a magnet, I think I might actually put a picture in this and then put it up in my office. Because it's pretty, it's this is pretty cool. It's no. no, it's not. It's a stand-up no. picture frame. Ooh. So it actually has like the thing that you can stand up and then, yeah, it's, it's like a picture Yoda, frame. Rocco, he has like, ro um, with Rocco. I like that. I think that, yeah, I think that I am going to put a picture in that. You wanna do this last, is this the last item? You wanna yes. do that last one? What is it? Oh, okay, so we have a vinyl figure and this is of Stimpy. Have you ever watched Ren and Stimpy? I feel no. like you love that show. <laughs> This is a vinyl figure of Stimpy right here. And he is on vacation, so he's holding a camera. A pretty cool little um, vinyl figure. I know that he's not focused. I can tell that this box was full of Nicktoons that Jackson's not super familiar with because he's not that into it. I'm into it. This one was a good box. That's, so that's all the items in the box. Okay. The only reason I know these people. Oh wait, we didn't do the shirt. Play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Super because Smash Brothers or Super. Oh, Super Brawl Universe. Super Brawl Universe. Yeah. So he has a phone app that he plays that has all the Was Nicktoons. It, yeah, it also has like. Avatar, The Last Airbender. I like the old one. Oh, okay. So we also have a shirt. This is a men's medium. It's kind of a beigey shirt. Oh my gosh. This is the freaking... This is the Rugrats. Do you guys remember the giant ice cream mountain and they break into it and then they find out that it's not real ice cream? Oh, so sad. Um, I like this shirt a lot. Now, you would really have to be a fan of Rugrats to really get this reference and to know what this is because there's like nothing other than the little Rugrats symbol down here that really calls out that this is a Rugrats shirt. So, um, all in all though, I'm a fan of it. I actually am, don't mind the color either. It's kind of a light beige color. Not too, not too shabby. Okay, so that's all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap really quick, and we can see what we think this box is worth. Um, this shirt, I would give $12, licensed short sleeve shirt. This figure, I think I'd give this $10. Do you price things a lot? Probably not. Um, this picture frame, I actually really like this a lot. It's not the most like intense picture frame, but it's still cool. I think you could give this probably seven to nine dollars. I think seven dollars on the lower end is fair for that. Um, pin set, two pin set, I think you could probably give this maybe five to six dollars. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with six since there's two pins, three dollars a pin. Set of postcards, there are eight of these. Eight, two, four, six, yeah. Eight of these, I think, Usually like 50 cents each for postcards fare, um, which would be $4. So yeah, $4 for the pack of that. Not too bad. We had our Gerald bobblehead. I don't know if I'd give this $10. I don't think it's worth $10. I would say maybe $6, six is fair. It's, it's is pretty... a Nick box exclusive. It is an exclusive. All of these things are exclusive, but that one's a pretty small one. Um, this is actually my favorite item in the bag. In the box, this is a toiletry bag. I actually would easily give this anywhere from ten to twelve to fifteen dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and give it twelve dollars. I think that's on the lower end. And then we have our like five dollars. Five dollars for this, you think? Um, we have our Filbert uh, hand sanitizer container. I I think it might get a little more if there's actual hand sanitizer in it, but I think maybe like. You think $5? Yeah. I was gonna say $3, so we'll give it four, which I think is a little bit high, but we'll give it four. Is that everything in the box? According to our pricing, this box is worth $61. I get the uh, yearly box, which I think, I don't remember, I just unboxed the other one. I think it costs $53 or $54, let's see. 
This box cost $53, which means we got $8 worth of extra value. Um, I like it. I love all the items in this box. I think that it's worth it. The fact that we broke even at least is good. Uh, and then we got some extra value, got $8 worth of extra value. Jackson's super obsessed right now with all the Funko Pops and looking at them, so don't mind him. But uh, all in all, good box. Now, I think I actually like the box that we opened. This is the only one I had. Last time, yes. He was telling me that this is his only Funko Pop. I've given him a lot of Funko Pops throughout the years. But and I was young. Yes, and then he just, he didn't really like them, so. Anyways, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I would say that this box is cool. I actually think I liked the last box a little bit better. I just like the stuff in it a little bit better. So, but this one was good. It just, it didn't showcase as many shows that I watched as much. Yeah. Eh. What did you think of it? Eh. Eh. Yeah, Jackson's not a super hardcore old school Nickelodeon fan, but, um, so maybe tomorrow we have to unbox the Marvel one because he likes Marvel better. We'll see. And it's totally past your bedtime, so we have to end this video. If I had to rate this box, I would give this box, I would probably say a... Honestly, my gut's telling me a 4.25 out of 5 names. Since I'm not, like, overjoyed with every single item, I think it's, it's just, it's like, it's good, and it's better than a 4, but I don't feel like it's a 4.5 or higher. If you liked everything in the box, though, I think you could give it a 5, because it does get good value and everything. So it just depends. If I were writing something out of 5, I would give it just, like, a 3.5. A 3.5 out of 5. Wow. What a killer. But... That's, you know, it's it's to each their own. Everyone has their own opinion. So what did you guys think of this box? Um, wait, I'm going to ask you that in my spiel in a second, so don't answer it yet. Um, that is all we have for you guys in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should... Like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the comment section below, let us know what you guys thought about it. If you had to rate this box out of five, what would you rate it? I'm saying a 4.25. Jackson says a three and a half. So what are your guys' thoughts? Um, good item still, but just I just don't like connect with them as much as I would like to. So let us know all your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out the, the video shout out all right do you want to pick somebody that one all right today's video shout out is going to go to emily inzario emily inzario you get the video shout out especially picked by Jackson, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. The thing that you had said, or the comment that you had left me was hilarious about Funko Pop Jail, because I wonder what a Funko Pop Jail would look like. You're right, I think it'd be interesting. It'd probably look like here, just behind bars. <laughs> Probably, probably. That's a good call. Good call. Um, but Emily, thank you so much for everything and thank you so much for your support. We want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Emily in Zareo. Shout out to you. All right, guys, we hope you have. And I a... picked random, so. Yeah, he did pick random this show. He just pointed to somebody, so there you go. Um, that is all we have for you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Do I say bye? I an amazing night. Night. Well, I'm going to post this in the morning. Okay, bye. bye.